Hello and welcome to the channel. As stated in the description, this is an unboxing of a Falcon 9 model rocket purchased from Everyday Astronaut. This is a live video. We'll see just what this looks like. As stated in the video, I was watching the Terran 1 launch three days ago and decided to go ahead and purchase this while enjoying the live stream. So here it is. This is the Everyday Astronaut SpaceX Falcon 9 Booster B1058 1-100 scale model. Designed and produced by Jetta Products Incorporated. It's a fancy looking box. Turn it over here. Got a description of the model, its construction, and sev several pictorials of the different stages of the rocket. Let's see if I can get the whole rocket in the view of the camera. Probably not. Close enough. The box even has fingerprints on it. <laughs> Set that aside. It looks like we have assembly notes. How to deploy the legs. How to set the second stage to the first stage. Very nice looking. Packaged very well so far. And we'll see. Very nice foam packing. And here we have it. Interesting. Very interesting. That's the base. That's the second stage. Nice little second stage here. Oh, here's the second stage. Nice so little second stage. Very heavy, very durable. Very nicely painted. Now the capsule area is plastic as opposed to metal, but the second stage itself is metal or metal alloy. And let's see. Looks like there's just some indents to where this fits nicely. 
All right. So there is stage two with the dragon capsule. Set that aside for now. Here is the booster itself. Very heavy. Very heavy construction here. Very nicely painted. Looks like we have grid fins here that we can pull out and open up. They even swivel. Very nice indeed. Let's put those back down for now. NASA meatball, American flag, the NASA worm. Very nice. Very nice detail. Here we have the landing legs folded up. And come out and here we have this support for the landing legs That is fitting very snug in there. Set that back down for a minute. And then take a quick look. Okay, so according to the instructions, we just insert these. As such, and they kind of lock in there very nicely. And the second one in, and we will put this one opposite it. And a little insert, a little push up to lock it, and it fell right into place there. Okay. As I said, this is a non sponsor video, but I have several rockets in my collection, all from the, what's known as the Executive Edition. Everything from the Redstone up through SLS. And although this is not from the NASA version, Executive Edition, I'm not sure offhand who actually puts those out. They come with a base and everything. They're very nice models. And just as well built as this one. But this will go nicely with my collection. So we'll set the box down. One last look here. We got all the legs in place. We do have nine Raptor engines there. And let's see. 
Let's set this up. And let's put the second stage in place. Now, if you notice here, let's get this back into frame. This here is kind of notched, so it will lock in place. And you can see inside here, perhaps, that little white spot there, and there's one on the other side. And those are locking tabs. So we will put this in there. I don't know if there's a specific way it was designed to lock as far as matching anything up, but when I do that, you see it matches here, and here, and here, and here. And there's our the dragon capsule. It, it, I said it, it appeared to be plastic, but it may not be. It may just be of some other construction. It just felt like plastic. Yeah. Deeper look at it here. It is just plastic. It is hollow all the way up there. But it is very detailed, which is very nice. Very nice indeed. Okay. There you have it, folks. From head to toe. Here is the Falcon 9. Let me extend its grid fins. Put a little twist in them there. And we'll twist the other way. And there you have it. Like I said in the beginning of the video, very nicely constructed. Everything locks together nicely. I'll raise my camera up here a little bit so you can see it a little better. And there it is. There is the Falcon 9. Thank you, Everyday Astronaut, for making such an outstanding model. As I said before, it'll go very nicely with the rest of my rocket collection.